This year's report is based on the evaluation of uh, more than 2,000 database entries in the Green Cross Blacksmith database. It includes polluted sites in 45 countries. And we were able to, for the first time, to find out what kind of industries have the biggest toll on public health. This can be as varied industry like mining and ore processing, being on industrial scale or being by individuals, agriculture, municipal dump wastes, or also chemical manufacturing. The calculations show that people impacted by polluted sites, which we analyzed, could lose on average 12.7 years peak to death or poor health. First of all, there must be more awareness created about the toll of pollution. And this will then, of course, help to mobilize the funds we need to address the issues. Secondly, we need to provide these people exposed to pollution also with alternatives. Very often, they're not aware that it's dangerous to the health. Even if they're aware, they don't know how they could improve their operations. And sometimes the solutions are very simple. Simply, you have to give them the idea and the possibility to implement those. Finally, why do we have pollution? Pollution uh, is not because of big multinational companies. It's usually their supplying industry, which are usually very small companies in the third world, uh, which are then supplying the raw materials which we use for the products which we consume. So also the consumer in the Western world has a responsibility and we have more to reflect on the kind of products and the quality of the products we want. Green Cross is working at the nexus of security and sustainability. This is a work which of course has many aspects and pollution is an important aspect of that. Because pollution, uh, if it makes a person sick, that person will not be able to work. If uh, the workforce is not showing up in a company, the company will not make profit. And if it doesn't make profit, then the economy of the country will not develop. So pollution has a direct impact on both individual well-being, but also on the societal and the economic development. 